All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a ruffle really quick. So the first thing you're going to do is you should have your fabric ready to go the length you want. It should be, you should finish both edges, <clears throat> meaning that this part is folded over and then again to be sewn down. This is just to make a ruffle, so there's no wire in this one. And what you'll do is you'll have a regular presser foot in, you'll put your fabric in where you want it to be. Make sure you have a pretty long, thread like about two feet hanging off so pull that out on both you know the top and the bottom threads and if you're doing it by hand same thing make sure you have like a nice long thread make sure that you change your stitch width to the longest width that you can this is the width here um, so that it's the longest stitch you can that's that's what that's set at and I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch going down Oops, make sure that your needle is coming through the presser foot. So if you're doing this by hand, just same thing. Just do not knot it off at the top. When you're sewing, you're gonna guide your hand, guide your fabric using two hands. If it starts getting a little bunchy, just keep guiding it. This is satin, so it's a little harder to work with, and it does bunch up from time to time. Making a nice long piece so you can see um, the implications of what it would be like. You can also like kind of pull the back of it and the front at the same time as you're guiding it to avoid some of those to avoid wrinkling. Okay. Slow down, you get to the end. Okay. Now, when you get to the end, bring your bring your needle to the upright position. Bring your presser foot up pull on it so you have a nice long length there as well and then what you're going to do is just pull I'm just going to pull on one of these threads okay so I'm just going to take this top thread here I'm going to let the other one hang down and I'm going to literally just kind of pull on it and then what you're going to do is keep pulling on it Try not to break it, because if you break your thread, then all of that work is kind of gone. But what you do is you just keep working it so that the ruffle is then moved down. So if you want it really tight, you just keep pulling kind of tight. But what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm just moving that ruffle down and then pulling on it. And so you just keep moving that ruffle down and it does take time to make a ruffle like this. But that's basically how it works. And you'll see that at the end, it's going to pretty much have this sort of like ruffled effect. Okay. Now, if you wanted to have wire in it, you could do the wire before or after you ruffle. Generally, you would want to do the wire. So I'm just going to pull it back out flat-ish. And so I've got my wire here ready to go. And what I can do here is I can do the same thing and I can just fish the wire through. Now, it's easier to do it before you actually ruffle it so it's nice and flat. It's not that hard to just, you know, fish that wire through all the way through. And then you're just going to do the same thing where you're going to ruffle it on the wire. And that's if you want to get a really cool, like, sort of more structural ruffle. Meaning that, you know what, I have one that I already did so I can show you what that looks like. But this then, you can bend into different shapes and stuff and you can do some really interesting things that become more and more like more 3d and you can see the implications of that so that's how it's done